It's Coach Cody here coming to you today to talk about five exercises, a little bit of a lean into the stretches for those of you that are walking or running. I've had a lot of people that have messaged in wanting to know some different stretches and exercises that you could be doing before you go on your walks, on your runs. So here you go. I'm gonna start off. The first one, I'm gonna come down to the ground. This is gonna be a good little pelvic opener and chin stretch. So for a lot of you that have had like shin splints, I'm going to talk about a lot of exercises today that can help with that. So first I'm going to come down to the ground. My knees are wide, just like I'm going to come into a child's pose position in yoga, but I'm not going to come all the way down to the ground. I'm going to take my knees wide and I'm just going to sit into this. Now I'm going to show you a little side view. So for those shins, point those toes back and sit in just as such, as far down as you can safely. I like to keep my hands grounded right here. Just holding this stretch, that's gonna stretch through your shins and through the inner region of your pelvic. So holding this for probably about 30 seconds, and then you can relax, take a little breather, and then come back into it. All right, so now that I'm down on the floor, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I want you to grab any kind of rounded object, a tennis ball, this is a lacrosse ball. Some of you guys at home even have uh, foam rollers, that will work just as well. I'm gonna take my shoe off. So this is great for the heel and for the arches. I'm gonna take this ball to the ground. I'm gonna start on the top of my arch, just right there so I can get the ball centered. And I'm just gonna roll it gradually through that heel, putting pressure on the top. And this is gonna feel good. You're not gonna, you're not gonna wanna not do this one. This is a great stretch for that heel and that arch right there. Nice and slow, good. Again, putting it on for about 30 to 45 seconds, taking a little rest break. Do both feet back and forth, probably about three times. All right, so I'm gonna put my shoe back on. So I'm gonna get into a little bit more of an active stretching movement. I'll move my ball out of the way so I don't trip on it. Uh, this is what I call a high knee. It does look like a march in place. The idea is to stretch out those hip flexors, getting those knees up. Now, if you have the ability to do so, we're gonna stay on the toes and go a little faster right there. So you're trying to get those knees up to your hip height. Again, 30 to 45 seconds, take a little breather or you can move right into my fourth stretch, which is called a butt kick. It's basically the opposite. So it's like I'm pushing off my toe, trying to bring my heels to my butt. It's like an angry bull that's about to charge, right? If you wanna go faster, kicking it in right here, high gear. 30 to 45 seconds, just as such, good, and rest. All right, the last one, which is my favorite, and it looks kind of goofy, it's called a duck and a penguin walk. So I'm gonna find myself about 10 foot, uh, feet of room. I'm gonna bring my heels out, kind of very awkwardly, like a duck, and I'm just gonna walk, walk, walk. That's gonna rotate through those ankles and that shin. I'm gonna turn around, but I'm gonna back up and then take it into a penguin walk. So I'm gonna pick my toes, point them in, and you're just walking in front. I know you may be a little embarrassed to do this in public, but trust me, <clears throat> those that are runners that have been doing it for a while, they're gonna be like, oh, I know what they're doing. It's that duck penguin walk. It's great for that flexion on those ankles. And turning it one more time just to show you. So I go, toe, over toe, over toe, over toe, over toe, and done. All right, y'all, thanks for joining me again. I hope those stretches can help make your walks and your runs a little bit more efficient and perhaps a little less sore shins at the end.